How you doing? I'm Jay Hennessy with Magical Stitches. Um, I, uh, our address is 4126 Hartley Bridge Road. We are an exclusive baby lock dealer and we have all levels of uh, baby lock um, uh, machines. Uh, right now I'm demonstrating the uh, long arm. I do all the long arm service and uh, the machine repairs while my wife runs the business. Um, we right now, uh, Baby Lock has the kinetic frame. Uh, this one's a 10 foot frame. And when you purchase it, it comes in two pieces, uh, but you can have a 10 foot or a 5 foot. If you uh, need space, space is the issue. You could do the 5 foot or you can get a 2 foot extension. And if you don't want the extension, you could go with a 12 foot and get the extension on that. But um, I've already. Um, put a quilt on uh, is one of our very uh, close uh, customers and friend and she's gonna be really uh, surprised to see her her quilt on there now but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and I've already put it on instead of uh, showing you the technique some of my customers wanted me to uh, do some uh, videos on this because I've installed their machine and they live a little ways away and uh, they just wanted me to, um, you know, do a few videos. So I said, sure, it sounds good. So we got this one on, and um, I do most of mine on the Pro Stitcher. You don't need to get the Pro Stitcher with it, but uh, that's um, for the uh, automation. And I already turned it on, and with this uh, sport theme of a quilt, what you do is, you, uh, and um, this with the Pro Stitcher Premium, it comes with uh, several hundred patterns where you go home and start quilting uh, the same day. But uh, I, I get a lot of my patterns, I put them on a uh, thumb drive. And what you do is you, once you turn it on, you just hit designs because that's where they all at. It says uh, go ahead and hit open and then you have the C drive which is where all your built-ins are. But I'm going to my D drive, I'm opening it up. And uh, I got a, um, it's called on Touchdown. It's with a helmet, a football, and a stars. I think it would be pretty appropriate uh, for this quilt. So you highlight it, and the uh, name of the pattern comes here. And this is extremely easy. Um, it's really um, user-friendly. Uh, and you're going to see it here. I just picked a pattern. I hit Open. And it uh, gives you the width and the size up on the top. And you have to basically visualize how big the quilt is and see about how big you want the pattern. And after a couple of times, it just comes like the back of your hand, really. I mean, it's really easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit modify. And, and I take that back. I'm going to hit modify in a second to uh, resize it. I'm going to hit repeat, and right here I'm doing a horizontal repeat, and see right now the two patterns is a, a red and a green line between it. The large uh, green dot is where the start point is, and the large red is where the stop is. Well you don't want the machine to stop at that small red, do a tie off and go to the green. So you, you um, push them two together till you get a black dot. So you're going to take the gap away. And sometimes it, it, it you, you could go a little bit, the machine goes a little quicker. There you go. See, now once it gets to that black dot, we're going to go ahead and take that black dot out because it'll still stop there and just do one tie off. But I want to get to the whole width of on this quill. And what I'm going to get is uh, my tape measure real quick. Just so I, I know for sure. Okay, so we got like 70 and a half inches. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and see, and I'm watching the size of the, the width 
right up here as I Okay, I'm watching the width right there, and I want to get as close as I can. Okay, there's 73 inches, so that's a little bit too large. So all I'm going to do is resize it now by hitting Modify. And there it is. And then right here, I'm, I want to modify. I'm going to hit Resize. And there I'm putting the uh, ratio lock on, so that way it's going to be proportional from the width to the height. And the pattern is not going to get distorted at all. And I'm watching up here so I can get close to 70 and a half inches. And there's also a, uh, a measurement right where I'm hitting the button down here. There's several places for that. Okay, so I'm at 70.6. Um, That's real close to uh, 70 and a half. Now, for those black dots, what you do is you go ahead and hit baseline, and by hitting baseline, all the black dots are taken off. You only see a large green start point here and a large red there. That's going to be a continuous pattern with no interruptions from start to finish. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set it, and my needle is at this crosshair. If you see the red crosshair, so that way you can pinpoint exactly where you want that needle um, to be. If you reposition or if you run out of um, bobbin thread, you can get right on. And this um, regalia has a, um, a, um, a laser um, light right in the center. And it is just so accurate. Uh, you can put that dot right where you want it on the stitch. And uh, uh, you can't even tell when you uh, um, have to splice it. But just before I do this, uh, which I mentioned the kinetic frame, but uh, this is the regalia that uh, the baby lock um, that we sell. Um, it, it has a large 20 inch workspace. The actual stitching um, feature is roughly uh, 16 inches. And uh, then you do all the controls here, and you can either go manual, you don't need automation, but um, I run uh, two machines, so there's one in the back of me, an older uh, Crown Jewel 3, and uh, I, I, I can run both of them on automation and um, get my, the quilts out. Um, they have a real nice clientele base, so... Um, And uh, you can, uh, and you you got a lot of, uh, like I said, um, hundreds of uh, patterns on uh, the Pro Stitcher. But uh, you can also go, uh, and there's a, a ton of features, but I'm just showing you the basic now. I'm going to be doing this uh, once a week, and uh, my customer just wanted to see some of the advanced um, uh, features of it. But in our beliefs, with all our machines, no matter if it's the $100 um, entry level or the top of the line, uh, you, you, you buy a machine from us, and we will, um, you know, instruct you of, um, and train you on, uh, you know, the operation of it. Uh, you can come back as many times as you like for, and, you know, write your notes down. Because, um, you know, it, it's a big investment. And, um, you know, we want to see you enjoy it. And that's what you should do uh, when you're spending, like I said, even down to $100. It, that, that is an investment. And we want you to feel 100% satisfied with your machine purchasing it from us. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to go ahead and set this pattern. And there's several ways that you can um, set the pattern. A lot of times what I do is just get, that's not where the pattern is going to start. I'm um, now up here, I'm going to, I already hit modify, I'm going to hit reposition. In reposition, there's a, a large amount of ways that you can go ahead and reposition it. I like when I'm doing a 
a full um, line pattern and not a custom uh, quilt, I would just do it with the top left. But it all depends where you want to go. There's a top left, a bottom left. And that black dot is where it's telling you your needle's at. So by me putting my needle right here in the corner and I'm hitting top left, now you can see my needle is right at the crosshair and the top of that red line is where the top of the quilt is. And once I hit the uh, button, the pro stitcher, and before I do that, what I do is I, I just make sure, since I already uh, hit that, I'm going to go to the end just to make sure where the end of uh, the stitch is going to be. Sometimes you have to, you know, just uh, realign it a little bit. Um, and see, that that's going to stop right there. That's like a half an inch or not even a half an inch off the quill. That, that, that's, that's real good. I'm satisfied with that. So before I do, I forgot to uh, put this uh, clamp on the uh, end. Okay, and even by me pulling it a little, it, it's still right right where it, it was going to go. And see, you can even go up to the top a little bit just to see where uh, that's going to uh, end up as far as on top. Okay, and I'm satisfied with that. Now what I'm going to do, once, okay, I already hit the, um, the reposition. Now you go ahead and hit Pro Stitcher. And from here, just by going in, in this um, sequence, I'll hit Run. It comes up with a whole line. This just to verify your settings, which you normally don't. Once you get it set, you don't do it. I had the tie off, the speed I want, you know, um, uh, the pull off the bobbin. So when I hit this uh, proceed now, it's going to go where that large green dot was. And now it's all in automation. It's going to pull the bobbin up. So then all you got to do is get the top thread right here. You pull that around. And let's see, I, I don't have that yet. I'm going to do that again. Okay, so now I got the top thread and the bobbin thread. I just hold it so there's no slack in the thread. And once I hit resume, the, um, the machine's going to start on uh, quilting. It's doing the tie off right now. And uh, really, uh, you know, it all depends obviously on the pattern or how, how large the quilt is. You know, on an average, uh, a quilt could take roughly around four hours, you know, to, to get one done. Now you get some real intricate, you know, uh, I mean, you know, then, I mean, it could go to, uh, you know, five, five and a half, six hours. I mean, you know, it, and, you know, that's just kind of sense. It's just a real intricate. The machine has a lot more work to do with it. And with these, there's, there's really no maintenance for the uh, consumer to really do. Now, uh, I mean, 
the, the most you got to do it is no oiling at all involved um, with this machine except for every two bobbins you put a, a drop of oil, a drop of oil on um, the um, bobbin case holder uh, raise. You go ahead and clean out with a little brush. Um, you know, I have a, a little small uh, pancake air compressor to blow out on uh, the fibers. You know, uh, for there's a hole on the side of the um, machine, you can blow it out. You know, I still get the brush a little bit, um, put my one drop of oil uh, there. And uh, I mean, that is only maintenance. And yeah, um, and uh, you know, you, you, you know, this machine, you don't have to get intimidated by a large table in a, in, in a large machine like this. It is extremely user friendly. And with our purchase of um, the long arm, I'll, uh, I mean, uh, delivery and uh, installation is free. I, um, you know, come there, install it, you know, you get just a machine, it's a simple machine, you, you do your needle down, needle up, pull the bobbin up, you know, uh, and then uh, just hit the start, do that. You get the pro stitcher, you know, uh, then, I mean, I, there's still, you know, um, I mean, I'll show you all aspects of the pro stitcher, but, um, yeah, I mean, there, there's all, whatever training you need with it, we give it to you, like I said, free of charge. We want you to be 100% satisfied and have a good time um, you know, with the machine. And um, I, I will go a 100 mile radius uh, with no charge, you know, for the installation and all that. And doing a long arm, um, you know, the first year I'll come to your house and service it free, you know, and all that. And then after that, you know, we go. But believe me, I have a machine right, <clears throat> excuse me, right back to me that I um, run also now, or Crown U3. And I can't sell that one because uh, that one has 65 million stitches on it. And I am not bragging. I don't want nothing to happen to it. But um, that, uh, I mean, it just runs like a champ. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, you know, call us, and, uh, you know, our phone number is uh, 478-788-0555, and uh, call us and uh, set up an appointment, and I'll um, definitely, um, you know, show you um, what it's all about, either with the machine or with the uh, automation. And uh, just in a few minutes that we've talked, you can see that uh, the machine's almost all the way uh, down to the end, and that's been uh, maybe, uh, I'd say maybe 10 minutes. I mean, it, it, it is amazing how uh, Swift and accurate, uh, the uh, regalia uh, really stitches. And believe me, you do your general maintenance on it. And the one thing I did say, you get a pipe clean and just clean the wheels that are on the machine rod on. You get the bridge. The children is really not a real clean, uh, you know, um, job. You know, but you, you just do your little cleaning on it, you know, and all you got to do is clean the wheels, and uh, that's about it. Well, it was real nice uh, talking with y'all, and uh, we'll see you later.